But through your donation, you will inshallah be reaping the reward. Click the link and donate what you can. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, brothers and sisters and dear friends. The filthy dirtbag of this earth is Satan. Calls for a ceasefire are calls for Israel to surrender to Hamas. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala destroy him into pieces. And may Allah allow us to see the day that happens. <laughs> and may Allah make you Hamas all of you, you potato. I mean, Gaza is gone. And may Allah, you know what? I, I'm, I don't know why I'm surprised. Even your God, Allah himself, he says me Allah. I mean, have you ever heard of a God? He say me Allah, forgive you, Muhammad. Is that a supplication? Let me start saying peace of the Lord to those who love peace and no peace to the wicked men. And those are the Muhammadan. Like this, son of Muta. He claimed that he is a defender of Islam by what in YouTube? He asked Muslim to be caught Starbucks. But on Instagram, YouTube, all of them, they are owned by Jews. And they support Israel. Oh. You know, obviously your God, Allah, cannot destroy Israel. But I want to remind you, so you don't feel bad. When you're a stupid God, like a Muhammad, the one who nobody knows who is his father, who was born four years after his daddy, the unknown daddy, he said that Allah said that may Allah forgive your sin. So if your God Allah, he asked the other Allah to forgive the sin of Muhammad. And now you are asking Allah <laughs> to destroy. <laughs> okay, you know, uh, uh, Lili Dawa, peace be uh, uh, you know, upon uh, uh, your... <clears throat> uh, why Allah is not answering your um, supplication? I mean, is it time now for supplication or time to go and join the Mujahideen? You see those cowards, sons of Mutaq, they claim that they are Muslim, they defend Islam, and they never ever do anything for the sake of Islam. Isn't it the best of, the best Muslim is the one who do jihad? And this is your jihad, donate now? And buy cat halal food? Cat halal food? Hey, by the way, are you going to send cat halal food to Gaza? So all this time you're promoting cat halal food. At that time, the Israeli, they were not at war with the Palestinians. And you are busy promoting halal cat food. I think people like you is the answer for all the problems. I mean, if you think about cats, and you care if cats will go to heaven or go to hell. <laughs> listen, listen. <clears throat> I think it's time for you now to launch a donation. Donation is specifically for cat foods in Gaza said halal raw cat food there are countless health benefits to this new raw Wait. <laughs> what the heck <laughs> what what <laughs> there's countless health benefit for halal cat food <laughs> so really dawa listen listen i mean i don't know you know isn't it time for you to arm yourself with like five tons of halal cat food, halal food, and go to Gaza so you can help the cats in Gaza. So you spend all this time, you idiot, son of Muta, just making up money and fooling people about halal food for cats. As if the cats, they will go like, did the cats, by the way, are they those like uh, uh, Salafi cats or Shia cats? I mean, which sect of the Muslims they are, those cats are? 
For how long the Muhammad and they will not notice that you are a scumbag and you are just an idiot who is making fun of those stupid people making making a treasure from them. Halal cat food. I know if I am you. Okay, you know what? You own the, the, the halal cat food business. You don't need anyone to donate to you. Just right now, announce that you will send, like, let us say, a hundred thousand dollar value of halal cat food to Gaza. Uh, you know what? I'm going to do the shipping for them. <laughs> hey, uh, uh, by the way, like the benefit you are talking about. Is it like FDA approved? A new brand on the scene called Alif. They make 100% halal raw cat food. Wait, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and now you are praying to who? You change your business, it's not halal cat food no more? Like what? And donate now. Brothers, sisters. What happened to you, America? To brothers and sisters and their friends. The filthy dirt bag of this earth, this Satan. Calls for a ceasefire are calls for Israel to surrender to Hamas. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala destroy him into pieces. May Allah destroy and may you. May Allah allow us to see the day that happens. Here's a video of his message to the Arab leaders. Listen, did he shit on them? Or shit on you? I, I say he shit on all of you. You know, actually the funny... You made a video yourself. It's called Israel shitting themselves. The video is there. Israel is shitting themselves. And now you are making a video saying the Muslims are shitting themselves? Listen carefully. And actually, I made a video called Muslims shitting themselves. I just copied your, your title. And now you agreed with me. Muslims are shitting themselves like their prophet. So tell us what the Muslim leaders did. The translation is saying, it's written, what, what is required from you is to shut up. Netanyahu is saying to the Arab leaders, what is required from you is to shut up silence. Actually, Lil Dawa here, he have his own translation for the video here, here, hold on. Let me go down. Maybe you can see it. Thank you, Lydia, for the translation. I really appreciate your work. Beside the halal cat food, what is required is silence. What the heck? The Jewish leaders, he is saying to the Arab, all of you, you better shit yourself or we will shit you. We will shit you literally. Excuse guys, I, I have to use this language. This is what happened when you speak about shit. What you can do? So guys, as you can see, uh, Lili Dawa, what do you see? Uh, there is something you see we do not see? So guys, as you see? Okay, so now. Allah, if you want to keep your interests, things that benefit you, remain silent. Now on this matter, obviously I have to be... And supposedly, guys, he is the hero because he is not silent. <laughs> I mean, listen, <clears throat> I am not silent. I am not. And look at this picture here. There's like, you know, dead bodies and there's a child and he is saying to the Arab leaders, can you see me? And the Arab leaders, they say like, what? Where? Who? Where? You know, the Arab leaders are like you, busy with halal cat food. Now you are talking about, can you see me? Like, did you see the Palestinians all this time and you are promoting halal cut food? 
you did not see the Palestinians when you made a video about, can we have a secret wife? <laughs> Listen, which one is more important topic? The Palestinians or secret wife? For sure, secret wife. By the way, you are the same as them. I mean, those Hamas, each one of them, he have tons of secret wives. The volume is not good. You don't hear him? Really? No, no, no. You hear him very well. <clears throat> so, it's very sad, brother. All Muslim leaders, they are doing nothing. But aren't you the same too? First of all, just to show you how stupid you are, Muslim leaders, they make a summit and they drink coffee and they discuss what's going on in so-called Palestine, all of them. And they spoke more than you spoke. Now you and them is the same. All of you, you talk. Why you don't do jihad? It's a question. If you are a true believer in Allah, you see, like your friend uh, uh, Mimi Hijab, I respect him more than you. Why? I mean, at least this guy, he went in the front of the Chinese embassy, if you remember, and he did disrupt his show. And the Chinese in the embassy, I don't know if this is true news or not, the ambassador there, when he saw this, he was masturbating. <laughs> I mean, and not only that, what about you wear a pink t-shirt like Mimi Hijab? I mean, that will scare the hell of the Israeli army and the commandos. Isn't it time? And by the way, where is your hero, the kickboxer, and rotates? He, uh, he go mute? <laughs> All of you Muslim YouTubers, you are a bunch of cowards and potatoes. And not only that, as we speak, Ali Dawa is busy with uh, Shamsi. <laughs> hey, uh, Ali Dawa, who did beat Shamsi? How come? And this is a question for you. How come you Muslims, you have hands to beat Shamsi, but you don't have hands to beat Israel? You make a brave over Shamsi? A guy walking alone in the dark, and you bunch of Muslims, you come and attack Shamsi? And now did you make victory for Israel? I mean, for Palestine? So you defend Palestine by beating some sea, and you are not even there. You know, I mean, you are the hero who, who, who you are you are the hero who make a commentary about war. What happened to Samsi? What happened? Tell us. Blame Tolles. Was it Daniel Hakikachu? Was it Shamsi himself? Was it who who was to blame for this? We're gonna to come to that. But Shamsi, I just want to say something. A couple of months ago, about a month and a half ago, you know yourself that I was going to a speaker's corner. You were in a speaker corner. You know what, Samsi? I was asking myself, why you are Muslims always in that corner? I mean, was that, that an incident or it is, was a reality? You always in the corner. You are cornered by American. You are cornered by the Israeli. And now you in the speaker corner. What happened in the speaker corner? And by the way, Samsi, is that car paid by the Denison? or from the halal cat, halal cat food.